Hey y'all, what's up? In today's video, we're going to be doing a low bun, okay? This is a low bun tutorial. Well, it's really how I do my low buns, you know? Because I might do mine a little different from others. So my hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned. So now we're going to go into the leave-in process. I'm using the As I Am Grogurt leave-in. It's very, very moisturizing. Okay, y'all. I love it. It leaves my hair moisturized for days. Okay. <laughs> now I'm sectioning my hair like always. I'm sectioning it into four sections. So I'm going in with the leave-in section by section. Okay, so y'all see I have my four sections. I'm applying all over the section first, and then I'm going to split it into subsections. This is basically how I apply all of my leave-ins, all of my deep conditioners, all of my product period. For the most part, I apply it just like this in sections, and then I break those sections down because I wanna make sure that every strand gets coated. Now I'm going in with a styling cream, Texture ID styling cream, which is the best, y'all. This stuff really moisturizes my hair. So, I am applying a leave-in and a cream, although I'm not really doing a style, like a braid out or blow out. The main reason why I'm applying the cream is because I want to make sure that I have that moisture. I'm just giving myself a little insurance. You don't have to add the cream. I suggest you always add a leave-in. But I'm adding the cream because with me being high porosity, it just keeps my hair moisturized for the length of time that I need it to be moisturized. I'm gonna have this bun in my hair for about a week plus. So I just wanna make sure that I'm good when it comes to moisture. So I repeat these steps, same steps all over my head. And this is how it turns out. Just all these twists all over my head. So now I'm gonna apply my oil cause you know, I do the lock method. I just apply oil to each section. I don't do subsections. I just apply it all over that section. And as y'all can see, my hair is nice and fluffy and soft and moisturized, keyword. I'm gonna take my little rat tail comb. This has a metal end, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can make an even part. I like a center part. Well, in this case, y'all, my center was off my center. My part was off-centered, so, but y'all get what I'm trying to do. So you can do your part to the side, the left side, right side, down the middle, whatever you want, but you want to go ahead and do that now. Figure out where you're putting your part at. Once I've got my part together, I'm going to take the two sides of the part so whether you do a middle part or a side part, you wanna just take that front half and section into two, leaving the back loose just like that. Y'all, I wanted to show y'all the shrinkage because the shrinkage be real, y'all. It be real. It be trying to play me like I got TWA. I'm going in with the Edge Booster, the Style Factor Edge Booster, excuse me. And this one is the Blueberry Scent. As y'all can see, this gel is thick as hell, y'all. It ain't going nowhere, okay? It's not even moving. It's not jiggling, nothing. So I'm taking this back section and I'm taking a smaller section. But I'm going all the way across the back of my head. I'm parting with my fingers. You don't need a comb for this part because we're just going to gel over these little crooked parts, okay? You just want to do this part in sections so that you have smooth and sleek hair okay for this ponytail you don't have to gel the ends of your hair i'm just doing the roots basically i'm putting gel everywhere where i need that sleekness to be this is not a wash and go <laughs> this is a low bun slash puff whatever you want to make it okay tutorial so you don't have to put gel our hair is already moisturized you ain't gotta worry about that i'm taking a brush you definitely want to use a brush for this part to smooth and sleek your 
ponytail, bun, puff, you want to make sure that you are sleeking as you go. The problem when you have medium to high density hair, sometimes in most, in some cases, low density hair, it's hard to get that sleekness. You always get those bumps and things, okay? I'm taking a little claw alligator clip and I'm just gonna clip that section cause it's gonna stay smooth for me and I'm gonna move on to my next section. So as y'all can see, I'm basically doing the same exact thing I did with the first section. I'm just parting it with my fingers, taking that section, I'm adding a little bit of water, adding the gel, and then smoothing with my brush. I'm gonna to continue to do that, adding the claw, that claw clip. Claw clip, alligator clip, whatever you call it. I'm just gonna to continue to do that all the way up my hair. Once I get further up in my hair, of course, the density gets thicker. So instead of the claw clip, I just add a ponytail holder. I just make sure not to do not to tie the ponytail holder so tight so that I can easily take it off when I do my next section. So now I'm finishing up the back. I just take that ponytail holder out and I just smooth it all back, the whole back section. I just smooth it all back into that ponytail. Now we're moving on to the front section. The front section is basically like the back, except for, of course, you got your edges. So you want to keep in mind where you're placing that gel along your edges so that you can get your edges how you want it. So I'm just adding the water, I'm going to add the gel, I'm going to brush it back real nice and sleek, and then I'm going to put that claw clip on that hair onto that back ponytail just to move it out of the way. After I brush this section, as y'all can tell, I'm going in with the gel and I'm paying more attention to my edges here, um, but I am also gelling that section. But I'm paying more attention to my edges because I want to make sure that they are nice and sleek, okay? I want my edges to be slick back too, okay? I brush my edges in like a swoop, kind of, but you can do your edges how you want, like I said. But this is the time to do it. If you want your edges to lay a certain way, this is the time to go ahead and not completely lay them, if that makes sense, but kind of mold them to where you want them to go. So now that I'm completely done with this section, I'm just sprucing it up, making sure the baby hair is where I want them to be. I see I'm doing my little Ella Mae sideburns, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got Ella Mae sideburns, but I can pretend to have them, okay? <laughs> so I just gel my little sideburns down. So now that I'm finished with the whole head, <laughs> I'm going to take and brush back all of the hair to where I want it. Now you can do your low bun all the way to the back. I like to do mine's kind of in the back but not all the way to the nape of my neck. 
So I'm just adding a little bit of gel to kind of make sure that it's all even and smooth and that we don't have no bumps and lumps and all of that. We have them nice waves from them curls, sis, but that's about it. So just take your brush and just smooth everything out. It shouldn't be hard to do because we've really done that for the most part, section by section. So now is the time where we go extra in on these baby hairs and you can do your little waves and zigzags, crisscrosses, whatever you do to amplify your baby hair. Go ahead and do it now, sis. Go ahead and do it now. As y'all can tell, I did the soups, but I always like to minimize my forehead because I have a huge forehead. So now is when I make sure that I'm kind of minimizing that. Okay, now is the time and making sure that my LMA sideburns are looking great. So now that I'm finished with laying the edges and putting everything back into the sleek ponytail, I don't know if y'all can tell, but on that ponytail holder, you see that my hair is still wet. It still has a lot of uh, moisture residue I guess you can say on that scrunchie um, my hair at this point is probably about I'll say 75% wet so what you want to do is make sure that that ponytail is at least 50% if not 25% dry before you bend I am going to be bending this ponytail even though I'm putting it in a bun I like my buns to be really tight but I also like them to be kind of big you know what I'm saying so I want to stretch that hair so that I can make that bun as big as possible I recommend you to band when the hair is somewhat dry because I did this kind of late and I had to work early in the morning so my hair did not completely dry it probably wasn't dry at all <laughs> it probably wasn't even close to dry if I'm being honest um, so I suggest you allow time for this if you want to bend, um, but if not, make it do what it do, sis. But I wish that I would have let it, see y'all can tell right there that it's still a little wet, but I wish I would have let it dry completely. But y'all see that stretch. I'm going to take my scarf. I believe I got this scarf from Walmart. I'll make sure to put it down in the description box for y'all. And I'm just going to tie my edges and my hair down to make sure that it's still going to be sleek as it dries. So at this point, I just let time do what it does. Sleek that ponytail even more. So when the morning comes, I'm ready to take them bands out. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'll see y'all in a few. Good morning. So it's the next day. So I'm sorry y'all my voice sounds a little <clears throat> deep. <laughs> I'm getting ready for work. And so I'm going to basically take these bands out and then um, show y'all how I do my little bun or whatever. I'm just going to carefully and slowly take these bands out. They can get tangled, especially by my hair being wet. And to be honest, my hair is still a little wet, but it's all good though. I would recommend letting your hair dry a little bit before bending. That's what I want to do next time. Because I underestimated my hair. I thought it would be dry because it usually dries quick, but it's still a damp, but the rest of my hair, for the most part, is dry. So, this is what we're working with. It's still wet, y'all. Usually, what I do is take my little ponytail holder and I just bun it. So.
And then usually what I do is I'll go ahead and spruce up my baby hairs because, you know, your girl got a big forehead and yeah, we gotta fix it. We gotta fix it. So I'm gonna go back to the style booster gel. Now what I will say, if I'm looking this way, it's cause my mirror's over here. What I will say about this style booster gel is initially it is very sticky like my fingers is sticky it was when it was on my hair drying it was a little sticky but what i do love about this that booster gel is it has shine like my hair has shine y'all can see how shiny my hair is it don't look dry it's not dry it's moisturized and that to me is what helps to keep a protective style. You need to keep that moisture. I just love my buns. It's something about these buns that are so elegant and sleek and cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at it. And it's simple. Hair is at my face. You know, I love it for those days when I'm not feeling big hair. Like I could just let my hair chill out in a protective style, low manipulation. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post lit popping videos every single week. Also make sure you hit the notification bell right next to that subscribe button so that you're notified every single time I post a lit popping video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Insecurely Natural. Also on Twitter at Insecure Natural. Y'all be safe out here because this world is crazy. Okay. And with that being said, deuces. See y'all in the next one. Bye.